everyone, my name is Miranda and today I am here to review the season 3 premiere of Stitchers. That's right people, my stitching babies are back. It has been over a year since we last saw Stitchers on TV and that is just too long for me. I don't know what to tell you but like I've just missed them so so much and I'm so so incredibly excited that they got a season 3 and it really was you know all done by the fans. Like it was fans commenting on everything that Freeform posted with We Want Stitcher Season 3 making petitions so it's just great to see that you know like fans do have a voice when it comes to liking shows sometimes. I mean you know shows that you love get cancelled all the time but in this case we got it back baby and I'm just so so excited. So Season 3 literally even though it's been a year picked up basically around where season two left off and it was a bit like I have to say like I needed a bit of a refresher with everything with Kirsten's dad, her mom, her sister like I just felt like there was so much that happened in season two you know and then to have that big of a gap between it it was like I was playing catch up for a second so it was really really interesting. I've seen like I've been following a lot of the cast on Instagram so I knew kind of basically like not what was going to happen but like what the mood was going to be because you know you saw the guy that plays Cameron um he wasn't looking so good on his Instagram things I was like why didn't they like shave his beard or like comb his hair before he's filming but it's because Cameron's literally going out of his mind trying to get Kirsten back I think it's interesting too because like her dad did that to her you know and they're all kind of like what kind of creeper does this to his own daughter but then at the end of the episode we saw that he killed Blair's kid to get to Kirsten just to get a message to her which is super super like psychotic. I just like I feel like the end of the episode was supposed to be like hmm can we trust Kirsten's dad and I'm like F no because like he tried to get that message to Kirsten but I'm like Kirsten should still be trapped in a memory maybe even dead if it were up to you so like I do not trust him at all. That's not saying that I trust Blair either because like Blair is such a douchebag. Like when he pulled that gun on Camille I was just like are you friggin kidding me like I get I get that he was feeling very emotional and that this team, especially Kirsten, they can be pains in the butt sometimes and very stubborn, but like I'm just so glad that she made that deal so we never have to see him again. I'm sure he'll come back, but just the fact that he's gone for now I'm very very pleased with because he was such an annoying thorn in the side and the fact that he's like using Kirsten's mom as leverage I think is just like he's just not a good dude and I think Maggie said that very nicely when Kirsten wanted to use uh, the son against him as leverage and Maggie was like you can but like we're better people than him even though he did that and I think that was really nice to see because I've just missed them I've missed the stitching and the no-go and Tim like it was just so great to see it all and I have to say I'm really loving the addition of Ivy I wasn't like too sold on her last season when they brought her in um because I feel like you know you were supposed to be so like can we trust her can we not trust her and I think we're still supposed to be like that but I'm it seems like Kirsten at least is more open to working with her and I would love to see more of her because A she's Kirsten's sister, B she's another badass female and C she seems super super smart so I think she can be a really good addition to the team whether she ends up betraying them or not I'll just enjoy the ride while it's here. And then it also, I don't know if I was the only one feeling this but I feel like potentially there could be a thing between her and Linus. I don't know it was just seems like she really cares for him and she was saying like oh if he's as smart as I think he is and stuff like that. It's weird because like Linus and Camille like obviously are like the OTP that we're all loving but then like I also like Camille with Fisher like I don't mind that even though I think Fisher is gonna end up with Maggie based on the way she was reacting to this episode when she was like Quincy what happened to you? I was like I gotcha. But then like I also don't like viscerally hate the idea of Linus and Ivy together like I did Nina and Cameron because I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like maybe, you know, they'll always end up back together and they'll always be best friends. So if they like want to date other people and have good chemistry with other people, I'm okay with that. So, and also like, again, I don't know how much Ivy's sticking around. If she isn't going to end up being like a good guy though and like wanting to work against her father, I'm all here for it. I feel like she's either gonna end up betraying them or there's gonna be a chance where she has the opportunity to betray them and then she ends up picking them instead because obviously she's probably more inclined towards her father right now and kind of has more loyalty towards him but hopefully the more she hangs out with Kirsten and all these guys she'll see that maybe her father ain't the best dude around in town and I mean 
it's really interesting just to think how far we've come when we started this Kirsten's dad was just missing and her mom was dead and now they're both out there somewhere uh, trying to find each other but then also meddle in their daughter's life still not so much the mom I think it was so so great when Cameron had to take over the stitch and was yelling all those horrible things and then you could even see like that moment when like all of a sudden she started smiling and I was like wait why is why is Cameron like smiling when he's saying this and then the mom was like you can't help me if you're stuck in here and I was like what like it was weird I love how they shot it because you could tell that like her face got different all of a sudden but it was just like something that you brushed out of your mind because there were bigger fish to fry and then at the end she's like why did you say that he's like I didn't say that so the mom now somehow is like not only hacking in but like I think it's cool because the mom basically we found out has a higher brain activity so she's kind of like not an AI because she's not artificial intelligence but like she can probably do things that like you only think of in movies like and that would be really cool if she can like remotely access stitches like if she can like hack into computers with her brain that would be so so amazing and I'm so excited to learn more about her mom because like I hate her dad but like maybe her mom you know this could be the chance to get a good parent and a good parental figure finally which I think she's been missing for so so long so I'm really excited for this whole mystery and how it's continuing I think it's so fascinating the more we learn about it but then we also have to talk about my favorite Camston. So I feel like now that season three is back and it's basically because of the fans, the writers are like, F it. Like we're gonna give you what you want. So like Nina's just gone, like not even a goodbye thing, just like she left a note and now they are finally somewhat together. I don't know, they didn't really talk about it after, but I feel like just watching the episode, like when she was telling him you're cute when you're worried about me and he was like, oh, I must always be cute then. Like that was so adorable because that is just like their banter and that's what I picture them being like if they start dating. Like they'll just like constantly like just be teasing each other and stuff like that and it's so great that we're finally, finally getting it. They're finally on the same page it seems like and I honestly think that because this season is kind of the season for the fans that they might actually not be jerks and like break them up or give them a love triangle or something like that and I'm so excited to see the possibilities this makes because I've been waiting for this for season one guys and I love the parallel too of when Kirsten first woke up from the stitch and she was like you said all those horrible things like you ruined the memory of my mother and then she slapped him and then she fainted and it was exactly what happened in season one the pilot except without the kiss but like she slapped him and she fainted and it was just so cute that like like it literally feels like this is kind of not a reboot but just like kind of we're doing this for you because we came back because of the fans so I really really appreciate it and I'm so excited to see more of what's gonna happen I love the addition of Ivy like I said I love the way the mystery is going if we're gonna see Kirsten's mom this season her dad uh because he needs a punch in the dick I can just say so <laughs> I'm really excited to see where it's all gonna go and if you've seen the premiere of Stitchers please feel free to leave your thoughts about down below in the comments also make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel down below to be sure to make all sorts of new videos and I'll see you guys next time bye I'm still here <laughs>